Hey, welcome everybody. My name is Mike Toledo. I'm a trainer with uh, Dent Time and also Dent Trainer. Um, I'm going to give you a preview about Tool Essentials. This video I've been working on for quite a bit. I'm going to show you how these tools work, where you want to use these tools, uh, the benefit of them, and how you can become more efficient with them. Now, these are tools are the most common tools I use. They're not everyone's favorite, but they are uh, a tools that are pretty common to most techs that uh, are in the PDR business. Now, this is more of a route tool set. This isn't a hail tool set. Hail tools are completely different, but you will see some familiar tools that are used with hail as well, like those sharp tools I'm just showing right now. Now, I'm going to show some unique bars uh, in the uh, in the video now this isn't going to be in the full length video you're going to see a lot more in the new tutorial so sit back check it out uh, here's a good preview about what is going to be in tool essentials and i'm going to give a chapter away so check it out okay here is the most common areas that you're going to see braces or a tight access situation generally near the front of the panel you're going to have some tight access up on top you're also going to have tight access and you'll see a brace occasionally going across diagonal like that now they are seeing those more and more common uh, going diagonal so that kind of it's almost like covering more of the of the panel and yeah, you might have a little bit of a hard time doing that. We're going to go over each part of that and tell you what tools you're going to need. But also you can see a brace that's most of the time you see going across just one bar. Uh, I definitely see those on the import cars a lot. Sometimes the Mercedes and definitely the BMWs are going diagonal. Uh, they could either be bigger than that. It's not always a beam. And look out, we get ready because the new Fords they're going to have a much bigger brace on the aluminum panels and uh, we are going to have to uh, step up our game when it comes to access on those vehicles. All right, now one thing about my hand tools, we're going to start out with hand tools. My hand tools are great for short leverage access areas. These hand tools can include short hooks, mini screw on tip tools, blades, and specialty tools like this. Now I'm going to talk about this diagram a lot through this tutorial. I, first of all, I'd like to show you the braces on this. And the most common areas of the braces um, are right in that section. I like to use the hook tools. Now the hook tools get to that top part with that brace uh, much easier than um, any tool you're ever going to try to use because it hooks underneath the brace and comes up to the dent and you'll have very good access. There's different types of hooks. Now I have a whole bunch of little hooks. You can see right there in the middle is the dent craft, and then dent gear, and then small tiny dent craft uh, hook, and dent gear, and then the dent gear one again. I just like a variety of different hooks for the upper door braces. I think you'll find that very useful. It doesn't have to be the same type as, as mine, but um, make sure you get a lot of good thin ones and the small one was for mainly for the inside of a hole which we'll get to later I consider that more of like a slash wire more than just a hook and you'll see why later now I'm going to be talking about hand tools and door tools and things like that so I'm going to go over the most common braced areas in this panel you can start seeing that uh, we're making it uh, more translucent so you can kind of see between the panel and I'll uh, fully uh, show the braces as well. But the most common areas that you're going to find braces are in the door, the front door especially. Now you're not going to just want to stick any tool down the panel because of these braces, like the impact beam you see right here. You're going to need a whale tail, or a shave tool, or something thin that's going to be behind that brace, or maybe even a long hook that can come between the brace and the skin. All right, so back to hooks. We're going to go to smaller hooks. And one of the one of the most common little small hooks, which I think is common, kind of like a hybrid tool. It's more like a a wire small slash hook, and I'll show you why. This is my favorite little hook tool, and it's from Dentcraft. Now, a common area I use this hook tool is in this area, real close to the door edge. 
sometimes I can find opening open holes or factory holes that uh, that I can stick it through like this and I can get very good leverage and what this hook does is it gets really close it kind of comes up and grabs right close to the edge I don't have to worry about maybe another tool missing it or not getting any enough leverage to push on that that tool is very very strong I highly recommend it you just got to watch the edge of the tip it's it can actually make some pock marks on the metal but uh, other than that uh, I really love that tool it's very very strong it gets all that tight places especially really close to the to the lip of the door now far as the other hooks go you really want to use the short ones for these areas for the top of the door uh, that is going to help you so your handle or the um, the shaft there the end of your tool does not get in the way of the top of the door the door sill or excuse me the uh, by the rail or the top of the door but basically the window um, that could be a big problem if your hook is too long and you're trying to go for the upper door brace that is not going to work well you could end up scratching the panel or basically not getting to the dent because you don't have enough leverage or you just don't have the short length now the longer tools are going to be great for and I'm referring to the longer hooks the mid hooks are going to be great for going in between that panel uh, right there between the brace because you want to go you have your tool go behind the brace and then come back up uh, between the skin and the brace and that will give you uh, pretty good access on the dent so those hooks are very important a variety of hooks just like a variety of whale tails are definitely going to help you out in different situations if you just have one hook don't count on it saving your butt uh, more than a few times because uh, I do recommend you get a variation of hooks because again you will be in different situations with different braces and sometimes you might not even be able to use the hooks and we're going to talk about that shortly we're going to actually talk about that now going into the next tools and we're talking about shave tools Now blade tips, blade tips are really good. I like using them through the doors. I like using them through the side. What's really good about these blade tips is that they can get between the braces and they can also use to push side load, which means you can push it from side from the edge of the, of the blade of the tip, or you can push directly on it. Now the blade tips aren't very super sharp. They're sharp enough to finish out a deeper dent and, and, do the little pit stuff really good for that but it's an all-around tool uh, it's kind of like a paddle tip if you may <laughs> 